One of the very cool things you can do with paint and stick is you can paint to individual particles. If you take a look at this shot, I have a paint and stick layer here, and I've already chosen my sticky pass and my sticky ID pass. And I'm just going to paint on this group of particles using the color transfer mode so this blends nicely and press the stick button. And now when I play this back, it's stuck. However, it can also be pretty cool if you don't use an ID pass. So I'm just going to clear this paint and I'm going to remove my ID pass from the scene. I'll just delete it entirely. So obviously nothing is sourced in the ID slot. Then I'm going to paint to a single particle. Now before I stick this down, I just want to take a look here at the sticky pass. All of these spheres have the same exact mapping, which is why when you paint to one, the paint is going to apply to all the others, provided that they don't have a different sticky ID. So I'll press the stick button, and now you notice this paint is stuck to every single sphere. There are some faces which are not showing, so I can just paint to those quickly too and press the stick button. And I'll just scrub through here and find one more face to paint on. This looks like a good one. And just like that, I've applied a texture to all the instances of this particle. And here's the shot played back. Thanks for watching. For more info, check out aescripts.com slash paint and stick.